Okay, so I'm about to show you our full tutorial on how to install Fortnite. So many people had so many questions on the last tutorial I made, so this is just gonna, I'm gonna literally do everything step by step. So first thing you wanna do is get a paid certificate. You could get one from Signulus, or however you say it, but a lot of people would recommend CravaSign. It's more like, it's just MapleSign, but they rebranded it because some shit happened. But it's only 7 euros, I don't know the conversion, but 7 euros. Then once you have your, your um... Once you have your um certificate, you want to go to Discord. They will message you like this, or in your ticket. So like I have a ticket right here. They will put it in the ticket. Like say like here's your cert, and then you want to download your certificate, and then it should be in my files. And then your certificate will come in like a little zip folder, and then you want to click the zip folder. It will extract like this, and then it'll be in like two files right here. And then once you have all that done, you want to go to Discord. Go to this Discord, both the links will be in the description for MapleSign, for CravaSign, and Celestial Discord. And then you want to go to the download channel, and then you got eSign right here, and you get this. So, we want to sideload eSign. You can literally use anything to sideload eSign. Okay, so once you've installed, once you've installed eSign, you want to go sideload it. You can use, um, you can use old store, you can use this. This doesn't really work on iOS 18 for some reason, like 18 beta. Um, but, you then, I'm going to just sideload it with old store, you can use whatever really. Anything that you can sideload with, and then we want to find eSign no log, and we wait for it to sideload. Okay, and then you see it sideloaded down here. We want to just go here, and then it's right here. It's an untrusted developer. Go to trust it real quick, and then we should be able to open eSign once it's trusted. It might crash one time, and then open again, and then you press agree, agree, okay. And then you want to import your certificates. So let me just do that. So we go back, click spa, import that one. When you go back and click it and then import. And then you want to click it again, click import certificate, enter your password, and then say import successfully, and then you want to do the same thing for the mobile provision. And then we want to import the, I have to actually download it, the newest Fortnite update. So we go back to Discord. We scroll up and click this right here, this GitHub link, latest. Okay, so once we load the GitHub, we want to scroll down. Make sure assets is open and find the newest Fortnite update, which is 31.0.2. And we just want to download this. So while this is downloading, I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm, you see I'm in Australia, not in the EU. Nowhere near the EU, in Australia. And I'm going to show you my iOS version real quick. So you can see my iOS version, iOS 18, iPhone 12. So I just wanted to show you that so you know that I'm on the newest version and I'm not in the EU. Okay, so now it's Fortnite, so we just want to go back. And you actually don't have to completely delete it. Uh, it'll just like override the... Uh, app so you just want to open eSign import Chrome Fortnite import and then I'm and then I'm gonna click apps on the bottom and we're gonna click Fortnite again and click signature signature and we press install and then if I go back to my home page as you see how it's like overriding this one yeah but if you have any other qu any questions on like something's going wrong make sure you read this the fact cool cool it has a lot of like it'll answer some of your questions and then just ask in the general chat if you have any more but and then fortnite is just gonna override this real quick okay and then once it's fully override it or like fully done you can just open it and then it'll do this blah 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 mine might not actually start downloading anything because mine was just performance updates but um it's gonna start downloading the thing and the download might go up and down like it might go to like 20 and go back to like 10 and then go to like 3 and then go up to like 40 you just want to get to a good place good internet and then just wait just wait and it'll work now you can see we're in the game perfectly fine i can access everything you know what i mean i could even load up i'm not gonna load up because this app i'm using is not like too good on oh the app is even disconnecting but yeah 